Imagine this. It's 90,000 years ago, deep in the shadowy heart of prehistoric Siberia. Towering mountains loom like ancient guardians, their snow-capped peaks piercing a sky heavy with storm clouds. Below, in a vast, untamed valley carved by glacial rivers, small bands of hardy wanderers eke out survival. These aren't the humans you picture from history books. No cities, no tools beyond sharpened stones and fire-hardened spears. These are our distant kin, Neanderthals with their robust frames, adapted to the biting cold and Denisovans, mysterious nomads of the highlands, their lives shrouded in the mists of time. Now, picture a fateful encounter in a hidden cave where two worlds collide, not in battle, but in something far more intimate. A Neanderthal woman and a Denisovan man cross paths, their union defying the vast distances that usually keep their kinds apart. From this rare bond comes a child, a girl, who carries the essence of both worlds in her very bones. Her story, buried for millennia, has just been unearthed, and it's about to shatter everything we thought we knew about where we come from. Stick around, because this isn't just ancient history, it's the hidden chapter of your own origins. We're diving into the prehistoric saga of human evolution, where interbreeding wasn't a footnote, it was the forge that shaped us. If you're hooked already, you're in for a wild ride through ice ages, migrations, and the genetic twists that make modern humanity a mosaic of forgotten ancestors. Let's transport ourselves fully back to the Pleistocene epoch, a time when Earth was a harsher, wilder place. Massive ice sheets blanketed much of the northern world, forcing life to adapt or perish. Picture the landscape. Mammoths roam the steppes in thunderous herds, their tusks curving like scimitars against the horizon. Saber-toothed cats lurk in the underbrush, eyes gleaming with predatory hunger, while wolves howl under aurora-lit skies. In this unforgiving world, human-like beings, hominins, clung to existence in small, tight-knit groups. They weren't alone. Multiple species shared this primal stage, each carving out niches in the ecosystem. We often imagine evolution as a straight line leading to us, Homo sapiens, but the truth is messier, more intertwined. It's like a braided river with streams merging, splitting, and sometimes drying up entirely. Our story centers on one such merge, the Denisovans. Named after Denisova Cave in the Altai Mountains of Southern Siberia, these enigmatic people first entered our awareness through fragments of bone unearthed in 2008. Imagine Russian archeologists bundled against the Siberian chill, sifting through layers of sediment in a cave that's been a refuge since time immemorial. Named after an 18th century hermit called Dennis, this natural shelter sits high in the mountains, a sanctuary from howling winds and prowling beasts. The oldest bones found here date back at least 51,000 years, with some evidence suggesting Denisovan presence as early as 217,000 years ago. These weren't Neanderthal remains, nor those of early Homo sapiens. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany sequenced the DNA and declared, this is something new, a sister species to Neanderthals, diverged from a common ancestor perhaps 400,000 years ago. What do we know about Denisovans? Precious little, as physical evidence is scarce, only five viable bone specimens have been deeply analyzed. They likely had dark skin, brown eyes, and robust builds suited to high-altitude life, much like modern Tibetans who inherited a Denisovan gene for oxygen efficiency in thin air. But let's stay in the prehistoric world. Envision Denisovans foraging in alpine meadows, hunting ibex and deer with rudimentary tools, gathering berries and roots during brief summers. Their groups were small, perhaps 20 to 30 individuals, migrating seasonally to follow game or escape brutal winters. Caves like Denisova were vital, warmth from fires, protection from blizzards, a place to birth children and share stories around flickering flames. But they weren't isolated. The Altai region was a crossroads where East met West in the vast Eurasian landmass. Now let's meet their genetic cousins, the Neanderthals. These stocky, powerful beings dominated much of Europe and Western Asia. Their prominent brow ridges and large brains, 
wired differently for survival, marking them as distinct. Neanderthals were no brutes. They mastered fire early, crafted sophisticated tools like spears and scrapers, and even buried their dead with rituals hinting at early spirituality. Picture a Neanderthal band trekking eastward, driven by climate shifts or the pursuit of herds. The younger Dryas cold snap around 12,000 years ago is far off, but earlier fluctuations in temperature made migration a constant. They crossed frozen rivers, navigated dense forests of pine and birch, always vigilant for cave bears or rival groups. Neanderthals and Denisovans shared about 99% of their DNA with each other, more than chimpanzees share with us, making interbreeding not just possible but probable when paths crossed. In the prehistoric tableau, envision a Neanderthal group pushing into Siberia during a warmer interglacial period, perhaps the marine isotope stage 5, around 120,000 to 71,000 years ago. The Altai Mountains, where Denisova cave lies, sat at the edge of their ranges, a potential meeting ground. Maybe they traded flint or furs, or perhaps necessity, shared threats like megafauna or resource scarcity, drew them together. These encounters weren't always peaceful, but they weren't always hostile either. In the dim glow of a cave fire, alliances could form, and so could bonds deeper than trade. This brings us to the heart of our tale, a girl we'll call Denny, whose existence proves these crossings happen. Rewind to 90,000 years ago, the world locked in an ice age grip, sea levels low enough to expose land bridges connecting continents. In Denisova Cave, amid the drip of melting icicles and the echo of distant thunder, a Neanderthal woman gives birth to a daughter. The father, a Denisovan man, perhaps a scout or trader who wandered into Neanderthal territory. Denny grows up in this hybrid world. Her features a blend, maybe the Neanderthal's strong jaw and the Denisovan's broader skull. At 13, she's learning to hunt, weave nets from sinew, read the stars for navigation. But tragedy strikes, perhaps a fall, an illness, or a predator. And her life ends young, her bones scattered and preserved in the cave's cool depths. Fast forward to 2012, when Russian teams, probing deeper into the cave strata, unearthed over 2,000 bone fragments, tiny shards of history. These sat in labs for years, unexamined, until 2016, when Samantha Brown, a graduate student at the University of Oxford, picked up a two-centimeter fragment. It looked unremarkable, but DNA testing revealed a bombshell. This was human, but not purely so. Half Neanderthal, half Denisovan, a first-generation hybrid. Brown's initial shock mirrored the scientific communities. She double-checked, fearing error. The fragment was shipped to the Max Planck Institute, where experts like Vivian Slon and Svante Pabo dissected its genome. They isolated mitochondrial DNA, passed only from mothers, confirming a Neanderthal mom. The nuclear DNA screamed, Denisovan dad. Radiocarbon dating pinned her death to 90,000 years ago and bone thickness suggested adolescence. Why is this revolutionary? Finding a direct hybrid in prehistoric terms is like stumbling upon a unicorn in a herd of horses. Interbreeding requires proximity, compatibility, and survival of offspring. In the animal kingdom, horses, 64 chromosomes, and donkeys, 62, produce mules with 63, an odd number often leading to infertility because chromosomes pair unevenly. But lions and tigers, both with 38 chromosomes, can birth fertile ligers. Neanderthals and Denisovans were even closer genetically, sharing a split from Homo heidelbergensis around 600,000 years ago. Their offspring, like Denny, likely thrived. Yet the odds of preserving and finding such evidence are astronomical. Denny's high heterozygosity, genetic diversity, indicates her parents hailed from distant populations. Her Neanderthal side links more to Croatian specimens 55,000 years old than local Altai Neanderthals, suggesting migration. Perhaps her mother was part of a wandering band from the West, fleeing drought or conflict, and met the father in the cave's neutral ground. To make this vivid, let's weave in real-life stories that echo these prehistoric unions. First, consider Otzi the Iceman. Found in the Alps in 1991, 
a 5,300-year-old mummy from the Copper Age, just beyond prehistory. His DNA shows Neanderthal ancestry, a faint echo of Denny's world. Utsi's life was brutal. He carried wounds, likely from conflict, and tools suggesting a nomadic existence. His genome links him to early European farmers, but that Neanderthal trace ties him to the deeper past, showing how interbreeding lingered in our lineage. Now, a modern story. A friend of mine took a 23andMe test, expecting pure European roots. The result? 3% Neanderthal DNA and a hint of something that might be Denisovan, though tests aren't precise yet. It shifted his perspective, making him feel tethered to those ancient wanderers battling ice and predators. He joked about inheriting their stubbornness, but it's more profound. His DNA carries survival strategies honed over millennia. Another case, indigenous Australians and Papuans carry up to 5% Denisovan DNA, including adaptations for high altitudes or malaria resistance. One documented story from Papua New Guinea involves a woman whose family's resilience to malaria stems from Denisovan genes, a prehistoric superpower. She learned this through a community health study, connecting her to ancestors she'd never imagined. Then there's a tale from Iceland, where a family traced their lineage through Viking-era bones in 2018, finding Neanderthal markers. It's a reminder that our roots are tangled, not linear. In nature, we see parallels. Pisley bears, polar grizzly hybrids, are emerging as climate change melts habitats, just as prehistoric warming brought Neanderthals and Denisovans together. A Siberian researcher shared a story of finding a fertile wolf-coyote hybrid thriving in the wild, much like Denny might have. These stories ground the science. They're not just bones, but legacies in our blood, showing how ancient choices shape modern lives. Denny's discovery forces us to rethink human evolution. Initially, scientists thought Homo sapiens emerged from a single hominin line, mixing lightly with Neanderthals. But Denny alongside finds like Oasa One, a 42,000-year-old jaw with Neanderthal DNA four generations back, suggests a complex mosaic. Interbreeding wasn't the exception, it was the rule. Neanderthals, Denisovans, and possibly a fourth unknown ancestor wove their genes into ours. The Altai Mountains were a crucible where species met, mixed, and maybe merged entirely. Why did Denisovans fade? Absorption, competition, or infertility? We don't know, but each dig brings us closer. Reflect on the prehistoric stakes. Small groups faced extinction daily. Interbreeding offered advantages, new genes for immunity, strength, or environmental adaptation. Denny's high heterozygosity suggests her parents' union wasn't random but a spark of survival. Today, we see this in global migration, where diverse populations blend, creating stronger communities. The Denisova cave, with its layers of occupation, mirrors ancient crossroads like the Silk Road, where cultures fused. Future finds might reveal Homo sapiens Denisovan hybrids, confirming if their DNA flows in us. As we leave this prehistoric journey, reflect on Denny's legacy. She's not just a fragment. She's proof our ancestors weren't silos, but collaborators. Their minglings birthing the diversity that defines us. In a world divided by borders and biases, her story teaches humility and unity. We're all hybrids, woven from ancient threads. Neanderthal, Denisovan, perhaps others. That mosaic made us resilient, adaptable, a species that conquered ice ages to build civilizations. Embrace your inner caveman. It's what got us here. If this sparked curiosity, explore your DNA. You might find an ancient wanderer staring back. Thanks for joining this epic tale. Stay wondrous.